Hello, my name is Ricardo Moraes, and in this tutorial video, I'll show you the main features of the Idea Puzzle software for research design. This is a decision making tool that helps you improve the coherence of a research proposal, article, or thesis in the light of philosophy of science. It also helps you review the strengths and weaknesses of a research project in any field of knowledge. The software poses 21 questions about your research project, helps answering them, and allows the self-evaluation of each answer in terms of decision-making status. The help function of the software includes examples of research designs in different fields of knowledge that have won the annual Idea Puzzle Prize for the most coherent doctoral research design. It also includes definitions, introductions, tips, and bibliography that vary with the question being asked. The output of the software is a research design with 21 answers to the 21 questions, as well as an overall score, which represents the average of the 21 self-evaluations in terms of decision-making status. It also includes a colorful puzzle that represents the strengths and weaknesses of your research project. This document can be shared in PDF or Word. So if you click new, you can create a new research design, one per each research proposal, article, or thesis, starting with the title, in this case, demo, and by choosing the confidentiality level, which by default is private. It means that only the title of your research design will be visible to those searching the database. If you click public, also the text of your research design will be visible. I choose private and click save. The title of my research design will now appear above the software menu. And I can start answering the question above the text box, which is uh, numbered and also appears above the triangle. The difference is that in the triangle, I can follow my own uh, sequence of the 21 uh, questions freely as in a puzzle, whereas in the text box I can click next and previous to follow a predetermined sequence of the same 21 questions. So uh, if I answer each question, I can self-evaluate it in terms of decision-making status and I can see the colors appear on the triangle beside the text box, which represent the strengths and weaknesses of my research project. I can save changes to the document, save as if I want to change the title or confidentiality level of the same document, preview before printing, print as PDF or convert the PDF to Word if I wish to share with others and receive track changes and comments. If I click search, I can see the database with over 6,000 research designs from all over the world in different fields of knowledge. I can search with keywords or filters of date, title, confidentiality level, author, institution, or country. And if I click an author's name, I can send a message. Finally, if I click open, I can go back to my research designs, click on the title of the research design I want to edit and continue uh, improving this research design. So I hope this tool helps you improve the coherence of a research proposal, article, or thesis in the light of philosophy of science. Thank you for watching.